Yo, what's up guys, it's Hayna Design. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down this graphic right here that I made of Justin Herbert. And we're just gonna be basically going through every layer, explaining why I did it, and uh, just seeing everything I did to make this graphic. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we start off with is just this base sky layer. I'm pretty sure I just looked up a gray cloudy sky, maybe on the website Unsplash. They have free images that are pretty good. Next thing I did, you can see I just added this gradient map. You right click this half circle, gradient map, and you can just put in these colors. I put in this dark blue, light blue, and then white on here. And we added with just painting on white, just the light source down here. And then we took in that uh, same sky, and we just made this part darker up here. And you can see we're just going to sort of mess with everything. We want these. Uh, light sources like define light sources over here so I just mess with the sky just like that and uh, by the way you just take this part of the mask so you can see like this sky if we just click on this part of the mask on our black brush we can just erase certain parts so that's how we fade out the edges of that next thing we did we looked up lightning in the sky uh, just like lightning sky picture you can see this what it looks like normally just the whole picture but if we erase these edges with that black brush again, blend it in, put it on screen, and then we put a hue and saturation layer just like right here, we can bring down the saturation and blend it in with that other sky. See how it blends in. And we're going to do that a few more times. We just wanted that same uh, lightning effects instead of the chargers, you know. Then what we did was adjustments, brightness, and contrast turned it up and then painted it on with our white brush our flow at about I'd say about 8 is like what I like to stick to and you can just paint all around these uh, lightning bolts right there so you can see that our hue and saturation we just wanted a more yellow vibe so you can see what we did here we sort of went for like a like you might could add a color balance in place of this right we just put colorize saturation 49 hue 58 and then our opacity at 30 and then for our curves here, we just everywhere around this um everywhere around the lightning, we just made it darker. Just like this, just to sort of add some contrast in the sky. And we just added this curves layer, just kept it the same. And then we added even more darkness, sort of up here where this light source was. And then and then we added in our base image. You can see I think we just looked up mountains. That's it, literally mountains on Google, and we just came up with this image. But if I were to paint it back in, you can see what it looked like before. I had this sky, and I just took out this sky just by cutting it out. I'm gonna put on that. Uh, I'm gonna lower the the saturation. Since this sky is more of a grayish, we're gonna try to take this down to more of a grayish blue yellow tint, as what we had. So. This next thing I like to do, it's like a little trick for blending stuff in. What you're going to do is create a gradient map. And since you know your landscape is going to be about the same shades as your sky, like you're not going to have a blue sky and then there's no hints of blue on the ground. So I like to do a black and a white on either end, right? And then right here, I'll click right here and I'll look on the sky for the next darkest part. Okay, so I'll say like, oh, this is dark right here. I'll click that. I'll go to the middle. I'll go to the next darkest and maybe say like, this is pretty dark right here. And then right here, I will go ahead and grab something lighter. And that's how we sort of make it look like this. And we have it on just 33 opacity. For our levels, our, um, you just go adjustments, levels. You see our settings we used. We have our white brush. And you can see this light is coming from behind the mountains. So I wanted to paint on behind these mountains right here. Like this light is not going to hit this side of the mountain. These lights, none of it is going to hit really right here or over here, deep in there. And it might hit this little strip. That's why I left that strip right there. You can see that before and after how I sort of just painted that on there. And then our color fill, we just right clicked again solid color put it on white then put it on overlay and we just painted on these highlights 
wherever we think the lightning would hit we're just going to paint it on just like this just like that you can see those highlights there and then we had this next picture we wanted to use it as the ground again just a mountain uh, background I'm pretty sure this was the search and then the exact same things we did for before we're gonna do again so the same things we did to blend in we're gonna do it again we should have a little bit more levels and then you can see we went a little bit more harsh on these highlights so we turned our flow up to 100 and you can just paint on the outside of this if you click on the color fill you can see how harsh that can be so you're gonna paint on the outside right there <coughs> next we added a blur hold on let me let me go back really quick so what I like to do is I'll take all of my background all of my mountains right you can control shift click whatever layers you want so you have all of them then press control J and control E so that's how I have all these mountains in one picture and then you add a blur and you can see it sort of blurs out this ground right here and it blurs out those mountains up top and that's just a tilt shift blur you can go uh, look it up on YouTube it's pretty simple but it would be pretty timely for me to discuss it right now but there is videos so next we add our color balance just to set more of a a mood for the picture I'd say we uh, go up here adjustments right here to color balance and we put it down we put uh, these yellows turn them up or turn it to yellow and we turn it to a little bit of red and we put another one and made it more blue so we kind of get a purpley look look uh, 33 blue and 6 red and then we painted in some more yellow so we turn the yellow down we painted in around these um, lightning and again it's just your white brush that's how you just paint it in like that next up we looked up PNG lightning that's all we did and we got these pictures of lightnings so you can see if we put in our Justin Herbert actually we just put it behind him just like this just set it all behind him and then we added we just painted it in white behind him as well so we have sort of that glow and let's see for our player treatment I also have a ton of videos on this so you can go to I think literally my last video and see this because it was like a 11 minute video and I don't want to make this 11 minutes long but y'all can definitely go watch that to see how I do my player treatment but um, in manipulations I do like to use the same gradient map as before you can see it blends them in a lot more and then for our levels, we just wanted to make him darker away from the light source. And then a little bit more intense on the areas furthest away. And then we add in those, um, we add in these highlights here, but it's because this lightning is going to be all wrapped around him. Just like this. <coughs> and then we added our brightness on our lightning, just like we did on the ones in the back. And then I want to add a little bit more depth right here. So I added these rocks. Um, and I put some blur on it just some Gaussian blur and the same steps to sort of blend it out okay so there we are with our final product but you can see once we have our camera raw that's how it looks so I'm gonna take you into my camera raw and <clears throat> something I like to do with some of my graphics is sort of twist it like you saw so I'm gonna show you um, what exactly goes into that so I like to boost my contrast Sometimes my highlights and sometimes my shadows. I boosted my whites, texture at 30, clarity at 15, dehazed it a bit, and vibrates at 23. So you can see that before and after. Pretty big difference, you know. Originally I was going with the darker tone, but after camera raw, I thought it looked a lot better if I would just brighten it up a ton. Sharpening 31. Color mixer. I just like to mess around with all the colors. You can see before and after. Not a huge difference, but it's something then this uh, color grading that is a huge difference right there shadows at blue because we have our main shadows are already uh, blue tint and then yellow as our highlights because that is the brightest part of the picture 
and for our effects we add 20 grain and calibration you can just mess with the uh, colors even more and basically all it is for the big tilt I do or I did for this specific picture is you just make the picture bigger just by pressing control T and then you can just tilt it however you like make sure you keep everything in frame and if your picture's a little boring I guess I don't think it was necessarily boring before but it just adds a lot <coughs> in my opinion like you can see this before and after it sort of gives it some like movement I would say this ground seems the perception makes it, it looks it makes the perspective look really cool but uh yeah guys thanks for watching i also want to let y'all know something on my instagram once i hit 2000 i think we're about 80 away but once i hit 2000 followers i'm going to be doing a giveaway and you'll be able to get this psd free as well as three others completely free you get to pick one and uh so go help me out over there i'd appreciate it and i'll see y'all peace